Hey guys, I got an interesting story for you today. This is Adrian, 30 year old truck driver, is in a lot of pain, as you can see here. He's come in uh, because he has severe depression, can't sleep. He's been in pain since he was a kid, six years old, jumped off a four story building with his brother trying to do something stupid. Also, got in a bad car accident. He was scheduled to have surgery, he didn't have it. We took some x rays of him. He is really messed up, broken spine, terrible neck. He never came back for a treatment. This is just an exam. I just wanted to show you what an exam looks like. Check out a story. Dr. Thayer here. I'm with a new patient, and this guy is... Adrian. And your age? 30 years old. 30 years old. And yes. what do you do for work, sir? I'm a truck driver. How long have you watched my channel? For about over a year. Fixed all my problems, and um, I just want to feel better in life. And um, I'm here for the long run. I want to I'd be really depressed. Honestly, that's the main one. Yeah, depressed. Because I haven't slept, and it's just really getting to me. Yeah. So. And he hasn't slept for how long? For about two weeks. Are you here for yourself or for your family? For my family, mostly. I just want to be able to, you know, do things with them, and just, um, I don't want my back problems to stop me from enjoying them in life. Has, has it stopped you already? It's getting to that point, because I can't do certain things with how, them. How old are they? They're a 10 year old and an 11 year old. I got rear ended at a stoplight. Um, and then the other one was on my box truck, work truck. I got um, blindsided on the right side. And have his seatbelt on, threw him across. Yes. They wanted to do surgery on him because his back was in so much pain, all that stuff. He refused all that, but he's been in pain ever since. I do get the panic attacks. Um, I have a lot of anxiety. The panic, panic attacks um, come here and there. Um, I never know what it was to have a panic attack until, you know, lately. Yeah. And um, I just, it's a horrible feeling. Yeah. When I was um, about five or six, um, I was playing with my brother at the top of a four story building in the balcony. And um, as we played, um, I forgot what we dropped, but um, I took it for myself to jump off to try to catch or get whatever had fallen. So I jumped off, fell four stories down, um, landed in the sidewalk. Um, broke, I think, um, two bones. And um, ever since then, the pain's been just building up. He has back pain, he has sciatica down his left leg, he has, uh, tell us about this lump in the side of your head. Um, there's times where the pain is just really bad. And um, where the neck and the head connect, I sometimes get like a lump. Mm -hmm. And um, it just takes a couple of days to go and it just hurts and hurts and hurts. I'm dizzy usually when I, look up a lot gotcha. when i usually stare at something for more gotcha. than a minute i start to get dizzy like really bad and the ring in the ears three yes. or four times a week tell yes. us about your heartburn heartburn oh heartburn i've dealt with it forever and it's just gotten really bad really out of control as a matter of fact where um at night i have to wake up because i'm like kind of drowning in my um, own acid yes smokes pot sometimes try to get to sleep how does that help you or not help it you? helps me um a bit but it's just a temporary um uh, a feeling of going away it usually comes back within the hour. How's depression affecting your life? What is that? What is that doing to you right now? It's just bringing me down. As much as I try to keep my attitude up and going forward with everything, there's always that that thought in the back of my mind. You know the the pain, and it just brings me down. It just makes me feel sad. It makes me feel like I'm just not gonna make it. How much does depression actually affect you? Does it want to make you just end your life sometimes? Yes, it does. Yeah. And why don't you want to end your life? What keeps you alive? Um, what keeps me alive? Um, just my kids. Yep. You know, I really want to be there for the long run for them. And, so you guys may not believe all this stuff, but this is a, a real human being. And when things are so bad, when it gets so bad, it affects your sleep, which affects your mood, which affects your anxiety. The panic attacks leads to depression. Depression is, he's ready to end it all because it hurts so bad. You don't believe it, but it's gonna, it, it is true. And so uh, I'm here to work on his balance. That's it. But by balancing the body, we're gonna change his life. And I'm so stoked that uh, he's here. Like I said, I did my channel. I did my channel to help the profession, but what is the byproduct of it is having somebody this young and in this much trouble not realize they can get help and change his life forever. And you guys are gonna watch that. Right ears clogged. Knees hurt, he has plantar fasciitis, arms go numb. 
I'm gonna do some basic tests on you and tell me how you feel I'm doing this, okay? Okay. I wanna push down on this big quaff of hair you have that I'm really <laughs> jealous over. And so, sorry, I'm gonna make it push okay. down a little bit. I know you're just gonna make it a little <laughs> shorter, by the way. Any pain there, sir? A little bit. Where? On my shoulders. On your shoulders, gotcha. I'll pull this way. How about oh, that? There. <laughs> oh, really that bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that hurt. It hurt down here or up here? Right here. Gotcha. I'm gonna go left side now and see if it's... Where do you feel that? Same. On the left side though? Yeah. Which side was worse, the left or the right? It looked like the left was worse. Yeah, I think the left was worse. Okay. Dodger fan? Yes. Good. Okay, I'm gonna lift your legs. Uh, I don't care about your hamstrings. I just wanna know if your back hurts while you do this. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I felt it cracking the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's your first adjustment. Yeah. Any, uh, so, do you feel any pain in your back right yes, now? Yes, right gotcha. in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Bend your knee. How about that? Any pain in your back? Yeah, right. Gotcha. Cross your leg right here. Pain in your back at all? Yes. Gotcha. Let's check this side. Same. Same? I feel like I can't breathe when you do that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He's in trouble, guys. He's in trouble. Okay, this one. How about this oh, one? Oh yeah, same thing. <laughs> wow. How do you hold it together, dude? How do you hold it together? On your stomach, please. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna push down your back how much you feel, okay? This is probably all gonna hurt, but I just wanna know some comparisons here. Uh, Which one's worse, right or left? The right. Okay. How about this pain right here, right? Yeah. Gotcha. I'm barely pushing guys now. How about this up here? Yeah, the right. Or the left? This one? Uh, yes. More here or more here? More there. More there. Okay. Almost looks like you broke his back here too, because you can see this little peak right here. I can feel it, but we'll see on the x-rays. <clears throat> now, uh, which side's worse, the right or the left? The right. This one? Oh my god, the right. Or this one? Oh, I took the right side. <laughs> <laughs> but what have you done for treatment for this stuff? I haven't really done anything. Nothing? I've done, um, like, um, just little massages, pla little massage places here and there. Oh, yeah. Other than that, nothing major. Been over? Thank you. Can you paint your back there? Yes. How much? Scale of 1 to 10, please. I could feel it, uh, say like a 9, 10. Gotcha. Stand up. Yes. It's amazing how flexible he is, though, guys. So when you guys tell me flexibility is the key, I can't hear you. work on flexibility a lot? Uh, well, I used to do a lot of ath athletics, though. Yeah, but that, that's pretty <laughs> flexible for something that much pain. Back like this, please. How about that? Yes, it hurts. Scale of 1 to 10, what is that? Ah, uh, like an 8. Gotcha. Really flexible. I was really, I'm really shocked in this one. Okay, put your arms down. Uh, look at the floor, please. How about that pain right there at all? Yes. How much? About a seven. And where? Up here or on the side? Where? On the sides. Right here. Gotcha. Okay, look straight ahead. And that was about a 55, 7 out of 10. Look at the ceiling, please. How much pain there? Up 10. 10? Yeah. Look at how flexible he is, guys. This is quite amazing, actually. Look straight ahead. Uh, the reason I'm pointing this out is because you guys will always tell me if he just did some stretches, you know, if he just did some yoga, if he just went out and somebody did some Pilates with him, he'd be a lot better. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I've heard that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go through some of the range of motions here. Uh, come forward a little bit, please. And you're going to get a squat, okay? Uh, you're going to uh, spread your feet a little bit. Now, not too much, too much, too much, a little closer. You're going to squat to the ground mm -hmm. best you can. Tell us what you feel on your knees and your back. Oh, right there. Where? It hurts here. How much? It's got one to ten? Uh, about an eight. Okay, stand up. How about your back? And about an eight in my back. Too eight in your back, good. Okay, now I want you to do something else here. I want you to stand up on your toes for five seconds. And tell me how you pain your... Five seconds. Pain in your feet at all? Yes. How much? About a set. And I can't... I have, like, no balance. Okay. I how much pain in your feet? Um... About a seven. About a seven. Which one's yeah. worse, left or right? Uh, right side. Right side. Good. You can sit down. You, I mean, you can uh, stand flat, please. Seven out of ten. Right plantar. And the left one hurts too. Yes. Left hurts too. Eight out of ten. Okay. So, uh, what else we got? Um, why don't you come a little closer? And take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath. Okay, does that feel tight at all? Yes, a yeah. lot. You can see how he struggled with that, guys. The reason I even did this, he didn't even complain about this. The reason I did this is because I want to show you, because I already know this is going to be an issue, that he can't breathe either because everything is so tight. I'm kind of curious about this. Same with if there's a different side to side. What? This side is more clear and loud. Okay. 
the same. How much difference? A lot of difference. So 50%, 60%? Yeah, I'd say about 50. 50? Yeah. So you lost your hearing this one a little more. Yeah. Gotcha, good. But then, remember I told you, I feel like this is the one that's Yeah, blocked. so he feels like the right side's clogged, like it's always blocked, but it's interesting how he has better hearing. Right. But his that hearing on the left side is 50% less. 36. 36, 27, 36, 27, 11. I'm going to take two pictures. Don't move until I'm done with the second picture, please. Come straight ahead right here. We have a 24 millimeter right imbalance, six degree curve and right TMJ. Here we have short right leg and constipation. Here we have one third atlas wear, neck reversal, pretty bad one, and significant arthritis. Here we have a compression fracture right in the middle of his back and significant arthritis. 